All right, all right, all right. What's up, everybody? How are you doing today? We are inching closer to at their coming out with their vehicle, and we are so looking forward to when that happens. Um, so today we're going to talk about a question that Sandy Monroe was asked at Tesla Takeover. So let's check this baby out and get into it. <laughs> All right, welcome back to my channel. I welcome everybody back, especially if you're new here. Uh, and my patrons, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much for all your help that you do. And so we're going to talk about um, Sandy Monroe. He was at Tesla Takeover, we know, because he actually did an interview with Chris uh, Anthony, and they sat down in that chair, and they talked about the vehicle. Uh, but he was actually a special guest speaker for the Tesla Takeover, and within the, within the big audience, he was asked a question, and this is what he said about at Terra. Let's let's look at the uh, video and the question that he was asked. Uh, what would you say as far as you know, Legacy Auto? They obviously have the ball and chain of being uh, ICE car makers first, uh, but. Are you seeing the uh, um, legacy OEMs making the changes that you've either been suggesting or um, are they even like, is there really any way for them to really, you know, turn the Titanic from hitting the big uh, iceberg? I, I thought that you're going to say catch up. And uh, then I had a whole I 15 there. minutes. Yeah, I know. You, you probably heard this speech already. But anyways, I would suggest that there are um, some companies that don't have to, um, they don't have to do the try and catch up kind of routine. And you saw one here in Aptera, that product um, is going to come basically as a perfect build. And uh, they'll add a few more things and it'll be in, on the road. That, yeah. yeah, so Aptera... Aptera will definitely be a success story. Chris, I don't know where you are. If you are in here, he's probably already drinking margaritas or he's putting them in a big glass, getting them ready for me. So that's one. Wow, this is impressive what Sandy said. I like how when he was asked what the ODMs or the uh, legacy automakers, what they can do to avoid the iceberg that they're heading straight into. And Sandy Monroe, he was cool and calm, and he didn't even say anything about the old legacy automakers. He didn't say one word about them. I mean, he, you know, he already had a speech that, you know, if he would have asked them what they need to do to catch up to Tesla, but he didn't ask that. He said, what do they need to do to avoid the iceberg that's heading straight for them? And he went straight into the companies that were going to succeed. The number one company he said was at Terra. Not only did he say the company that was going to succeed, but also how they were going to do it. So at Terra plods out to you and Sandy Monroe. I'm so glad that you're a part of at Terra and how you helped them to avoid the biggest mistakes in putting their vehicle together and helping them to see that they can actually have their vehicle put together in the beginning, which is what they're doing. And I actually did a video on that, how they have saved a ton of money by what they're doing because they're cutting back on so many things that they don't need. They probably spent about, when Tesla was first starting out, they probably spent maybe about a third of what Tesla was spending. And they are ready to come out with this baby and rock and roll. And this is just the tip of the iceberg. That Once they come out, man, they are really gonna grow. But I love that about how Sandy Monroe brought that out and how he said that basically, when they come out, their vehicle is already going to be put together pretty much, so to speak. And all they have to do is just add a couple of things to it. And then 
that's it. Wham, they could go ahead and put him on the road. Uh, he didn't mention that they need, what, about um, 100 times less space. They don't use cranes. They don't have a paint shop. They're just going to wrap the body of the vehicle. And it's a two-seater. And um, they're doing things that um, most automakers won't do. I mean, their biggest thing, Aptera, for them is safety. And they want to have the safest vehicle on the road. So kudos to them on that as well. But yes, yeah, Sandy brought out the number one, very first thing, Aptera. Aptera. <laughs> Oh my goodness, this is going to be awesome. This is going to be great. I, and the, you know what was funny was um, he's in a crowd of Tesla fans. When he brought out Aptera, there was a couple of people that actually applauded Aptera for um, what they're getting ready to come out with. So yes, kudos out to Sandy Monroe. Oh man, that was awesome. I love how he brought that out. Uh, give me your thoughts on that. What do you think? Um, you know, he didn't even beat around the bush about talking about the old legacy automakers. He went straight into the ones that were going to succeed. And Aptera was the very first name he came out with. But um, once again, give me your thoughts. Give me your comments on that. And uh, I really appreciate it because I do look forward to that. And once again, I thank all you for watching my video. If you're new here, hit the like, ring the bell, subscribe. And my patrons, thank you so much for continuing to support my channel. I really do need your help to continue to make this going. Uh, and I really appreciate all that you're doing. But I love Aptera, and I know most of you out there love Aptera too, and you want them to succeed. And so helping my channel help get the news spread out to everybody else, that's what we want to do. Because we do know that once it comes out, just like I showed in my last video, once people find out what Aptera is all about, a lot of people are going to jump on this thing. They're going to jump on the bandwagon. They're going to want them at Aptera. They're going to tell their friends, oh, wow, you could drive around for free in this beautiful, spacious, futuristic vehicle that gets 40 miles per, uh, uh, a day on just solar power for free. You don't have to pay for gas. You don't have to plug it in. Yes, a lot of people are going to jump on this thing. But anyway, you guys, thank you very much for your attention. I really appreciate you and I applaud you. So y'all take care. We'll catch you in the next video. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Do you mind to quit your pretending? Truth or false, the shit never ending. Hear me 